So we have Matt from Australia. There's a three part question here, and we're going to address each one individually um, as we continue going. So the first question here is, do the grow mediums have to go in a specific order or can they go in any order as they are all separate from each other? The school of aquaponics. So Matt here is talking about the advanced blueprint that we talked about in another video. And he just wants to know is that order that, that it was uh, uh, showed as, does it have to be in that specific order or can you rearrange them um, in any type of order? And yes, you can rearrange them in any type of order that you want. That is the beauty of the split flow. You can have the NFT section first, media bed second, DWC third. It doesn't matter how you want to do it because they have their, they each have their own separate channel. They're operating off their own flow rates and flow valves. So it's, it, it doesn't matter which order you have it in. It's almost like none of the other ones exist uh, when you have them separated that way. Um, so yes, you can do it, how, customize it however you want, however you want. Um, moving on to the next question that, that you have, Matt. Secondly, could you have a raised media bed with siphon drain into a deep water culture system and use the DWC as your sump as well? Now, this is a super good question. This is a very, uh, this is a really good question here. And the answer to your question is yes, absolutely. You can do it. Now there's some calculations that you have to configure um, when putting this together. So if you are one fish tank to two grow bed ratio aquaponics, formerly known as a biscuit headed aquaponics, then this may not work for you, but I don't think that you're one of those. So you got to do the calculations, but it's pretty much two things that you need to do. One is you need to find out the volume, the, the, the water volume of the deep water culture system that you want to have. And you need to figure out the sump tank requirement uh, for the, the flood and drain system. How much sump tank is required for that particular, uh, to maintain that particular uh, uh, flood and drain system that you're going to build. And we did a video on the the flood and drain system uh, sump tank calculation. So you can watch that to get an idea of how uh, it's calculated. But once you get those two answers, then that's how large of a sump tank you need to make. It, it needs to be that size. And the reason it's that size is because you have to have enough water to supply the, um, the flood and drain system when it's starting to fill up. And when it fills up, it's going to be, um, it's going to be draining the water from the sump tank. And you also have to have enough water to, uh, for a deep water culture system. So you, you know, you, there's no shortcuts on the sump tank, um, that you have to have. So, you, and you could just, you just combine them together. But one thing you do have to make sure you do is set, is give enough room for where the pump is at. So the roots don't grow large, too large to, to get sucked inside the pump. Um, it, it's pretty much just like a, a deep water culture system with some extra room for the sump tank. That's all it is. So absolutely, you can do this. Now, the last question that you had, would the media bed not also assist with more beneficial bacteria? And the answer is absolutely, yes, it will. And depending on the, the stocking ratios, the fish stocking ratios and the fish feed input that you put in there, you may not need the, the extra biological filter if you have uh, um, like a flood and drain system inside of, uh, uh, on your system. You, you may not need it. If, but if you have super high loads of uh, a fish, a high stocking fish density and high feeds amount, then that one media bed that I had that we have in the um, in the example may not be enough biological filtration to take care of the whole entire um, a system. So it just really depends. It's relative to the feed amount and the amount of weight of uh, fish that you have inside of the system. So yes, but it does supply uh, beneficial bacteria and nitrification in the system. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Woo!